Did you hear about Kelly's lashing out on Beyonce? I did. What What's your opinion as a creator, as a writer? I think she, I think at a certain point that she she's doing is very short and stupid because her speaking out. Okay, you're speaking out, cool. But you you have different ways to resolve this, different kind of uh, channels you can use to resolve the situation. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you really have a problem, you know, you can go speak first of all to them, and then if they don't want to hear you or anything like that, then. You know, but then her, you can go, um, her problem is that nobody called her before using her song, her sample, sampling her song. Mm -hmm. So she's she's like Beyonce didn't call her. That's her problem. She yeah. believed that she oh, deserves because, a because, phone because call. No, she's calling her out. But the thing is that everybody should call her. Call Beyonce out for this, for that, for this, for that. It's like look at the end of the day, everything, everything is woman that it's never good enough. And oh, she doesn't respect the culture. But when she restricted the code, like, you know, the truth of the matter is that whether you like it or not, because you're not part of it, maybe, or whatever, or any way she's honored you by putting you, okay, you know, I mean, God, I, I don't know, you want to review your contracts, fucking do that. I don't know, like, where you, where you, like, oh my God, this is so fucked up, and so around the world, like, okay, so what, so what do you think is going to change anything? Because you really think that. You got that much of weight in the industry, like with all the respect to respect us. <laughs> you know, like I think you know her. I mean, to me, I think the the problem is she has a deeper problem. Of course, with she's a problematic person. Her, her real I mean, problem. She dishes a lot of people when it's so many things. I mean, for the little that I've seen. I, I think her. You know, you know, her, 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 her real problem is actually with Pharrell Williams and Chad Ugo, the Neptunes, because her real mm -hmm. problem that she's been saying from the beginning, she's been saying that Pharrell and and Chad Ugo and the third one. Uh, took all the credits, the writing credits for her albums, and she says that she should have been. She should yeah. have writing credits. So, um, it's interesting because on Beyonce, first of all, uh, Beyonce, Beyonce doesn't have to call you. That so now, okay. Did somebody just send me a, what's the name of the song? Wait, the song with Kelly's. Where is it? Don't even know where's that song it's like a, she, she doesn't even a song she just used like a small part like yeah 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 i don't, just, I don't even know and i don't even know if it's lyrics if it's an actual sample but, but what's the name I of the song tell. uh i didn't tell you uh, energy or something like that energy 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 S energy you know what it seems it seems like oh energy featuring beam Look, you know what? She put a, she put she put her as a featuring, right? In the big I don't know. Is it energy? Let me see. Let me see. I'm not sure. Let me see the name of the song. Beyonce. Beyonce Kelly's Kelly's song. Cause I wanna I wanna decrypt this for the people. I didn't listen to album yet, but uh I've listened to the entire album. It's actually, it's not, it's actually not bad at all. It's some very interesting songs. I'm not a fan of everything, but it, it's so very well done. It's legit. She's got, you know, Honey G Dijon. She's got like some serious, uh, you know, beam. Serious, serious artist, Tans, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, she, she's a... Uh, but of course, in, in proper... You can actually tell it's a... It's, um, how do you say, it's been formatted. It's formatted for a, certain, a very specific yeah. audience. Yeah. You know. She, I think uh, she's, she's doing for, she did an album for her dance music loving fans and especially that she has a huge LGBT fan base and she did an album for them to thank them. And um, Exactly. I mean, I have to listen to it. I didn't. Other than break my soul, I don't. I don't know the song. I'm just trying to know what is the song that she 
sampled with Kellis. And you know my the I mean the problem is that a lot of people will go with something when sometimes it it is not like everybody will come at Beyonce when actually uh, they don't really realize how it works. So wait, uh, what's the name of the song? Mm -hmm. Hours before Beyonce, da da da, singer. In the weeks leading to the release. Uh, the question is, da da da, Kelly's enter milkshake, which was interpolated on the clubby fifth track, Energy. So look, she was featured, she put, as, she put her as a featuring, right? On the song. To say thank you for using her thing. And you know what? I'm on Spotify right now and she removed her now. Beyonce removed her from the featuring. And if I was Beyonce, that's exactly what I would have done. I would be like, oh, listen, I'm paying you respect and you're here insulting me? I didn't have to put your name. Listen, okay, let's talk business and let, let me explain business to people. Uh, two weeks ago, uh, no, a month ago, uh, you, you know about this, uh, the song uh, Rendez-moi from uh, Sumia got into a TikTok challenge. There's a guy called Jess, uh, 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 a beat maker from uh, a guitarist musician from from Martinique, I, I believe, put uh, the instrumental. He redid the instrumental and he and he told people, hey, if you know the song, sing sing along to do a, a TikTok remix or a reels remix, right? And a lot of people started doing. Uh, a lot of singers, younger and also people from from those time from 2003 started putting reels singing Sumia's song and it really became a, a little phenomenon the streams start going up and then there's a guy uh, uh not one but at least two free dancehall artists from guadeloupe or martinique started doing uh hey listen i don't know the original younger people or people who know the original but they were like hey listen this gave me an idea and they started singing something else on it right mm. they started just performing other things and i received two messages the first message was from one guy put a version i mean he did a version on on tiktok and, and instagram and there was thousands of comments oh my god this is amazing you have to release it you have to do this remix everybody in the comment where you have to do these remixes and because people understand that they cannot just take your song and do another song without either paying but you need the authorization to do it right so i i had uh my my manager call me and tell me hey I have this guy, he comes from, from, from Guyane, he, he would love to produce the, a new version of that song. And because, you know, Gillen is now the CEO of Virgin uh, Distribution Africa, she was like, hey, listen, we would love to have your, your authorization because I'm the composer of the song and I am the, the producer of the song, but I'm also the executive producer of sumia's every song every the four albums i'm the executive producer and i own the masters so those are the, those are a lot of different things you have the composing credits the writing credits and then the executive production and who owns the copyright and who owns the publishing now if you want to do a cover which means you just want to re-sing the song because i also received some people asking me if i could do something if you have just uh, people who want to sing exactly the same song, redo the song. Normally, they need your permission, but because of French laws and the law on cover cover songs, you can actually release a cover as long as 
you pay a little fee at the uh, some some special places and you can just send a letter to the normally it's rare that people refuse because it's it it it, it goes into fair use when you're using the you're just doing the same song so i could take any song of bodhisattva for example and do a uh a Kizomba or a, a Bossa Nova version, as long as I don't change the lyrics and I don't take any credits writing and I give everything to the owners, I can release the song, put it on YouTube, etc. etc. Worst case scenario, I cannot monetize them, but you can normally there's no there's no problem. And if you sell more than I don't know a million streams or 10 million streams, maybe you have to pay something to the publishers. Now, if you want to change the song, add a rap, change the lyrics, change the melodies. Now you are touching the integrity of the song. And now you are not doing a cover, you're doing an adaptation. When you are doing an, ad an adaptation, you need the permission of the creators because you are touching their work and they might be uncomfortable with you turning, I don't know, maybe I do a love song, you turn it into a, a a porn song or a song talking about murder i might be like nah man i don't want my song to go there that's where you need the authorization but if you are the if it's your song you're the owner and when you say your song i'm not talking about the singer i'm talking about who owns the master so who owns the master of the song by sumia rendez-moi is me and me alone a hundred percent so i could i could just not call her and and tell Guylaine, yeah no problem i want i want 80 percent of the the publishing rights i want uh 40 percent of uh, composition and i want 40 percent for sumia of of uh authorship and i leave 20 percent for the new version i could say what i want because this is my master and then they also have to ask authorization to the publisher which is me as well. And then they have to ask the authorization for, for the artist because they are doing a new version. But if it's just, for example, to just do a sample, I'm the one that they have to ask the authorization. And I don't need to call the artist to ask them their opinion. I can just say yes or no. And because I respect the artists that I work with, like Sumia, I call her. I said, hey, listen, we have these propositions. What do you think? Do you want people to... I know this song means something. I know this song is important to you. And if it's a cover, I mean, normally we, we, ha we have to give permission because it's normal. But if they, if they want... There's this guy wants to change your song and turn it into a, 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 raga, a raga song. So I ask her, I asked her, hey, what is your opinion? And she told me, I don't want to. I don't want people to turn this song into some some reggae joint or some some raga stuff. And like, and no, listen, I want people to respect my song. I really like if listen, if if the person is not Rihanna or Beyonce or whatever, no, no, nobody's touching my song. I was like, listen, I respect that, and actually I agree with you. Uh, it's it's a song that is way too important for us and for the work we did that anybody can just come now if it's just somebody's doing a, a cover kizomba version a, b -b -b bachata version a reggae version and it's, they, they're doing the same lyrics to me it's no problem i cannot be an hypocrite with all the covers that i did and prevent people from covering my songs but it's different when they want to change your song and they want to sample your song right and what happened with, so back to what happened with Kellis and Beyonce, actually the owners of the songs, that song in question, are the Neptunes. And whatever label that, re that released the track with the album of Kellis at that time, I don't know if it's Universal, I don't know who they are. So Beyonce is there, she does a beat, she takes a, a little sample of, of Milkshake in the track and she's like, Hey, listen, who do I have to? And probably she, she's not her. She's listen. She's not on the level when she calls people, right? She will just say Park Entertainment, which is her her team, her label. 
they will call the right people and say, hey, we want the authorization for this song by Kellis. We want to take a little bit of a uh, milkshake. And actually, who produced that track, if I, rem if I remember well, is, is a Pharrell. So, hey, Pharrell, who wrote the original song? Oh, it's me and this guy. All right. Hey, listen, I'm going to put you as a featuring, as a courtesy, just to say, hey, listen. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. I'm, hey, listen, I'm, I'm respect, respect, it's, 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 out of respect. And now you're going to come out of the internet, on the internet and start insulting me everywhere, t telling, oh, she's an hypocrite. She says women and like, and pl play the victim card. And that's exactly what happened. That I thought, I mean, I was like, if, I, if it was me, that's what I would have done. What she did, she just removed her from the featuring credit. She just removed her name. Because actually, she doesn't have to call you. She doesn't have to put your name, etc. Fans can be emotional. Oh, they should have. Listen, she doesn't have to. I own five, four albums of Sumia, four albums of Elysio, two albums of ABG. I own my own album. I own Isa, Taina. For first album of Tia, etc. If somebody comes and asks me to sample a track, I don't have to call nobody. I'm calling these people because, um, yeah, I have, I'm a human being, so I'm gonna be like, hey, listen, hey, somebody wanna sample your song? What you think? Da 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 da. You're gonna have that percent. I'm gonna take that percent. Is it is it good for you? Hey, listen, it's money. It's Beyonce. You're gonna you're gonna receive millions just because she's using this song. Is it fine for you? And if, and actually, if it's Beyonce, I'm not calling you. I'm just explaining to you what's happening. I'm sending you an email because I'm I'm giving you money. I could tell Beyonce, hey, no, take my song because I own everything. No, you're making money. But now, if after that you go on Instagram and start doing all this noise, Beyonce is going to look at me like, yo, what's going on? <laughs> and, and she's going to start being petty. Now, a lot of fans because people love to complain people love to do the victim thing a lot of people a lot of people will, will side with Kelly's because they're like oh she could have called her she knows her like she said oh we know listen people have to stop thinking that people can call her call them or and understand how you feel as an artist but she doesn't have to call you she she could I understand like she could you could you can feel a way that nobody told you nothing and you wake up you realize that oh they use my song but she could have not even put you as a featuring like she's doing the now she's like she said, let me just remove that person that problematic person from the featuring because i did everything i had to do i went i talked to the labels i talked to the people who are the owners of the master I talked to who wrote the song and apparently it's not you. Now, if, as Kelly says, she says allegedly that Pharrell and Shad stole her part and that she should have writing credits. This, I don't know what to tell you. This is not Beyonce's fault. This is not even her problem. Her hate, her she should use, she should say the name of of uh, Shad Ugo, Pharrell Williams, and the third Neptunes, and the publishers, all these people. That's the people that she should have a problem with. Not Beyonce. Beyonce is just like, yo, listen, I'm. let me sample a track that I really loved. And But some people, nah, I want you to call me. I want you, yeah, I want, I want a phone call. I mean, as a human, I understand the feeling. Like, call me at least. I don't have to. I, I could, but I don't have to. And if you do all this cinema because I didn't call you, and you call me a hypocrite, you say that, oh, I pretend that I'm for women, but actually I'm not. Like, all these attacks, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove you from featuring because in the side of the law, I'm good. And you are turning my release of an album that is about joy into drama. And it's not the first time that you're into drama as well. Mm -hmm. So I, I, as a, as a, as an artist, 
I don't side with her, I understand. I don't side with her, but I understand the feeling. I can understand the artist and somebody could have called me. I mean, I understand 20% of the feeling. But as a as an executive producer, I don't I don't care. Listen, I mean, they put your name there. Da, da, da. Maybe your problem is now I, I couldn't understand the problem in, in a seeing it in a different position. If somebody already stole you your if you if you believe that you've been you've been you've been uh come on this polier uh, in English. Okay, let, if you've been you think somebody stole your 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 30 percent and now sure, yeah. mm -hmm. and nobody's now somebody is, is sampling or using a part of that track and now maybe the the the, the, the original owner will split let's say 30 percent of the the song maybe beyonce is taking 70 percent but she knows that this is going to generate millions so she's saying hey listen I'm gonna give you 30%, so at least it's gonna be, let's say, 500 to share between the, the original writers. And you believe that you've been already screwed from the original song, you might feel a way that now you get screwed from this 500 that's about to come. So I can understand that. But again, it continues to not be Beyonce's fault. It continues to be your problem with the people who, who stole from you. So. I mean, you and I, we know people stole stuff from us. So we, we know the feeling, but now if those people, uh, if, if there's no way to prove it, uh, it's over. If you signed back then because you were young, whatever, and you gave your part away or whatever, how it was, because she said she was, she was naive at that time. Now let's say you gave away your publishing, you gave away your writing credits for whatever reason, and now you the the papers are signed and the songs are uh are in the um, in the copyright society without your name now if somebody samples the the song we're gonna go to what is written in the the ascap and and on all these in these places that and it's over you can you can yell everywhere you want it's too late and at that level they cannot afford to risk a scandal, man. And even like that, as they try to carefully to have like, the rights, you know, people, some producers, I don't look, they're still in country with bad cash. Yeah, you know, it's... Hmm. I'm not saying that it's been so cool, the answer is crazy, or amazing, and it's just but... I just want to talk about these kind of things. <sighs> I, I mean... Not, I don't know, it's not good. Do no, you do you have any song that that is your song but somebody stole your rights? Do I have the idea? What did you say? Do you have any song that somebody uh -huh. stole your rights? No. No. Me, I have, I have, I have an album where I somebody stole the master. You know, that's, eh, but, don't, don't want, don't, don't. but uh, I know, I know, but at a point, because I wrote a lot of the songs and I composed a lot of the songs as well, I have publishing rights, 33% of publishing and 50% of composition on all the songs. And this, at a point when it was time to to sign those things, I did. I didn't leave like no. I was like, hey, listen, you're not gonna be able to protect those songs without me because I will attack you in justice. You're okay. You took the money. Yeah. It's okay. You took the money. Good. Uh -huh. Well done. Uh -huh. uh, but if anybody signed the songs the, the the publishing rights the the composition and author rights without me my lawyers will talk to you um this is a promise that I, I i told those people and everybody had to sit down on the table and say oh this is so how much you want for the composition i was like oh, i want 50 percent. i did the music of all these songs i i did the melodies 
of all these songs. So, yeah, I want 50%. Oh yeah, can we do 45 or 30? Because I said, no, nah, I want 50%. And I, okay, can you give the publishing? No, nah, I want publishing on Sushi Roll. And because they knew that, oh, I would, I would attack. We finally signed all the songs of that album. So now, if after 20 years, somebody wants, let's say Beyonce wants to use these songs, nobody can use them. I don't need to see my name nowhere on the featuring. But in the credits, oh, I want to see my name. Okay. I want to see Edward McCollo okay. in there. And I want to see Sushi Republic. Publishing. Make your money. Oh, listen, of course. Why so, you? Why you? Why, why? <laughs> the game is this dangerous. You know, you know me when I read my when I drew my NFTs and my arts. You should see one of the paintings that I did today. The cover for the next project I want to be copied tomorrow. I'm writing the project is all about like this kind of the construction is heavy now. That's exactly what I wrote in the, mm. on the painting. Like he's writing on kind of like on some basket. No, no, man. No, no. This business is a business of egotistical people, egotistical people, people who is, they, they're people with serious mental disorders. They're, they're, they're in the sense of like their egos are so out of proportion. Not sure that Kelly is one of them because, I mean, that's really so you know. I understand her suffering. And what she demands is, is, is correct. And, and I think to a certain point it is, but yeah. I just don't think that. Yeah, you are your colleagues, man. So the situation between you guys in the offices with the lawyers, be civil. I don't do this like online calling gun. This this is this is not trash at all. Listen, I don't know the backstory. Maybe she's been trying to solve it in, in, the, in a peaceful I mean, way. In that case, then then, then she's right to blast them out. But I don't know. In that case, had she tried to call them or whatever, and she did. I'll get it. Because then yeah, blast them out. Because imagine, imagine now the situation. I uh, listen. Let I uh, imagine the scenario, right? Imagine that uh, Beyonce calls Pharrell and says, "Oh, bro, I need a beat." And maybe he comes here with the idea. He comes with a sample, or maybe a recomposition of his own beat, because mm -hmm. he's the one who did that album. And he's like, oh, listen, what do you think about that idea? And she's like, oh, did you use what? Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. And you do the song. And when you say, hey, what about her? Uh, maybe the, the guy say, oh, don't worry about her. She's, you know, and now you're like, all right. And then you, you release your album and then she's all over. <laughs> she's yelling everywhere and everybody's like, ah, oh, finally, you this type of, you this type of person. And, and you're like, wait a minute. Hey, guys. What's going on here? And they're like, she's lying. You, you, you don't know. For you, it's just like, hey guys, why are you bringing me problems? Like, and listen, she might even just, you know, nowadays the streaming, you know, in the streaming days, you can take any song and re-release the song without people knowing. So she might just remove that sample and release a new version of the song without the sample and be like, all right, there you go. Nowadays it's easy. Back in the days when the CDs are done, they're done. But today on streaming, you can just say, hey, this is a new version. And in 48 hours, all the platforms, they just put the new version without you, without this. And now you're talking in the wind. There's no more sample. What are you going to say now? And they're like, hey, listen, replace that sample with some melody and whatever. Listen, like all these, all these. That person is calling me for something that I don't listen. This is your problem. I don't have to do. I have that, nothing to do with all this. So I say, ah, it's complicated. Yeah. 